to bring you Act One of tonight's Tale of Tomorrow, The Duplicates. Oregon 94335. That's right. Mr. J, please. Uh, speaking. Thank heavens. I've been trying to reach you all day. It's about that position in the paper. Is the job still open? Uh, your name, please? Uh, uh, Calvin, Bruce Calvin. Oh, yes, Mr. Calvin. Yes, yes, the job is most definitely open. Can you come around this evening? Well, no, it's, it's, uh, it's past 7.30. Well, even so, I'd like to meet you. The interview won't take too long, I promise. I'll expect you in 20 minutes. Do you have the address? Uh, yeah, yeah, wait a minute. Uh, room 34, room 34, 137 West Grove Street. All right, I'll be there. Fine, see you shortly. Well. Uh, nope. Who's that on the phone? Huh? Oh, it's about that job. I got, finally got through someplace. Well, it's about time. What kind of a job is it? I don't know. I didn't say. Right now, I'm ready to take anything. Three months without a job isn't pleasant. Don't tell me. After all the skimping I've done, I'm the wrong one to go to for sympathy. I'm not asking for sympathy. I'll get a position. I can't understand is why they fired me for my last job. Eight years. Eight years with the Dunhill Engineering Company, and then to be let go without any kind of an explanation whatsoever. Maybe there's a conspiracy against you. Sure, that's it. Everybody's conspiring against my husband. Okay, that's enough. Is it? All my friends are going places, doing things, except me. After five years of married life, I discover I'm married to a failure. Where are you going? I got dinner ready. I'm not hungry. Well, sure, run out after I spent two hours preparing a meal. Go in and then sulk, you poor, persecuted I boy. I said that's enough. No, it's not. You get some money in this house, and then it'll be enough. You know, someday you're going to push me too hard. I, uh, I'm the person who called you about the ad. Are you, Mr. J? Johnson, Dr. Ferris Johnson of Atomic Energy Control. I've been expecting you for days, Mr. Calvin. <laughs> How'd you know I'd call about the ad? We knew you'd come eventually. Sit down, there are many things to be explained. Yeah. We want you to volunteer for an important scientific experiment. When it's over, I guarantee you a reward that will let you live in comfort for the rest of your life. Oh, well, what kind of reward of, of an uh, experiment? Now, that you will learn soon enough. But I can tell you that you will not be harmed or in any way chained by this experiment, and you shall be free to return home when it's over. How long will that take? With training, preparation, final tests, three weeks. Well, I don't know very much about research. I'm, I'm an engineer. Yes, we know.
pay will be $250,000. $250,000? Yeah. Sure. I'm telling you the truth, Bruce. This is an important experiment. Money is no object. No thanks, Mr. J. There's something phony about this deal, something phony about this whole setup. I assure you, everything is above board. Yeah, but why me? Well, why, why are you sitting there as if you're waiting for me, knowing that I'd come? Why do I get the feeling this is all set? Perhaps it's because you've been under observation for more than a year. We've traced your habits at home, your working schedule, your daily activities. Yes, we know you very well. Yeah, but why me? I don't get it. From Army blood test, we found you to be one of the rare types that could survive this project. Your age, your physical appearance, your intelligence, all led to your being selected for what lies ahead. Yeah, and if I refuse? I wouldn't suggest it. Already our plans have released you from your job at Dunhills. You had me fired. It had to be done so that you would be in no position to refuse our offer. Well, who do you think you are? Do you know what you've done to... This mission is worth any sacrifice. Well, you see, in a matter of weeks, we expect to establish contact with another planet. Another planet? Wow, by what means? The committee in charge of this project will be here in one minute. All your questions will be answered. These are important people, Bruce, as you will see. I don't know. I'd like a little more time to think it over. Time is precious. Just remember that in three weeks you'll be a rich man, Bruce. A very rich man. Ah, uh, Dr. Gorham, gentlemen, right on time. Bruce Calvin, Dr. Gorham, the head of our committee. Admiral Donnelly. General Parker. Please make yourselves comfortable. Gentlemen, I think we can begin now. Dr. Johnson, have you informed Mr. Calvin why he's been brought here? I have told him everything but the actual purpose as you instructed him. Good. Then there won't be time wasted in details. First, I must ask you to keep secret anything you learn here tonight. These facts must be kept from the general public. You have my word. And second, I ask you to believe whatever is told you, no matter how startling. Mm -hmm. In the last two years, science has discovered that life does exist on another planet in this universe. Life as we know it here. I'm afraid I don't understand. I'm telling you that there's another planet where human life functions as it does here. So closely parallel that for every living thing existing here, there's an exact duplicate on this other planet. Uh, wait a minute, you mean other human beings living as we do? More than that. For every particle of life, animal, bird, flower, tree, living here, there's an identical creature living on this other planet. You expect me to believe this? It's a fact, Bruce. There are two planets in this universe which are exactly alike in every detail. This is the most fantastic story I've ever heard in my life. I'll have no part You of must it. stay until we're finished. Listen to the rest of it, Bruce, and decide. We won't hold you against your will. All right, I'll listen. Go on, but make it fast. We know how difficult this is to accept, but I repeat, every word I'm saying is true. At this moment, on another planet, there are people who think and talk exactly as we do. Every motion, every creature is in direct rhythm with us. But I just can't believe it. What's more, we have tangible evidence that they are aware of our existence also, and are checking periodically on our similarity. Uh, how, how do you know all this? We've had many observers spotting their visits. Here are actual photographs of their ships speeding through our atmosphere. Why, these are pictures of flying saucers, the kind that were in life a couple of weeks ago. Not a mirage, but a very real threat. The same kind of craft we've been sending to investigate their world. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but if all this is true, what do you want with me? What can I do? We built a ship, Bruce, a very special ship, to carry but one man to that other planet. Now, this ship has been tested and will travel through space. Oh, I see. You want me to make that trip. You want me to be your little traveler through space, huh? No, thanks. You'll be perfectly safe. 
The ship is automatically controlled. It can be accomplished in a few hours. I said no. You know what you're asking me to do? You would arrive in a city just like this. Your home would be there. A woman who would seem in every respect to be your wife would be waiting. You'd have a short mission at this house, and then you'd return to this planet. What would be the point of a flight like this? A very simple one. The exact duplication of mankind must be stopped. Immediately, neatly, and without warning. And if it's not? Then, sooner or later, both planets will destroy themselves in trying to conquer the other. We must take the initiative and break this pattern of exact duplication as soon as possible. How? On your trip, you'll take with you a chemical poison. You'll place it in your duplicate's home in something he will eventually eat or drink. Then you'll simply return here. He'll die. You'll live. Once the pattern is broken, our future is secure. But that'd be murder. Don't think You're of asking that. me to take a man's Don't life. Don't think of it that way. See it as a means of saving this world. No, no, I'll have no part of it. Two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. To take a man's life? You'll be immortalized in history. No, no, I won't. I'll have nothing. Two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. No. Do the things you want to do. Go to the places you've never been. Travel. Enjoy life as it should be enjoyed. Security, contentment, no fear. Two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Okay, okay, okay. When do I stop? After midnight. Yeah, I, I know, I know. I'm, I'm sorry. If you expected me to save any supper, you're mistaken. No, no, I had something to be done, Tom. Francis. Much more. I'm not going to put up with that temper of yours Francis, any longer. I, I got a job. A job? Yeah. You? Huh? What kind is it? How much does it pay? Two. I can't give you any details. It's secret. All I can say is that it's for the government. And I start work tomorrow morning. But of all the people to get picked for the job, how did you get mixed up with the government overnight? I don't understand. This is a hectic world we live in, Francis. A lot of crazy things happen. But if the government of my country picks me for an important job, I'm going to carry it out. Well, is it, is it something dangerous? Dangerous? No, no, not at all. All I can tell you is this. Future life here on Jupiter depends on the success of my mission. Yeah. He's passed every test. The pressure has reached stratospheric proportions and he's still able to function. You can shut it off now. Coming out now. Get that stethoscope on a bit. Breathe deeply, please. Oh, fine, just fine. I knew he was perfect. Well, what was that to prove? We've reproduced the same conditions you'll have on your trip, Bruce. You've got nothing to worry about. You mean the, that's all there? Here's to the flight. <laughs> Absolutely. You'll feel nothing more. Huh? <laughs> well, fair enough. Step over here a minute, Bruce. Uh, now, here is our present position. Now, yeah. the ship will be following this course. With the automatic atomic speed control, you should reach the Earth within 12 hours. Now, when do I get my flight training? You don't need any. I don't need any. Everything is automatically controlled. When you're ready to return, merely reverse the energy switch on the directional indicator. Do you... Do you think I'll survive this flight? Well, that's why we've been testing you these weeks. No, there'll be no trouble. Well, I guess we're about ready to start. We are. Except for one last bit of equipment. Yeah. I, I wondered... When we get around to that. It arrived this morning. Must be planted somewhere in your duplicate's house. Some place he's bound to sample it in his food or drink. It kills painlessly in exactly three minutes. Here's a check for $100,000. You'll receive the balance on your return. The 
ship is set up on the field, Bruce. You leave in 36 minutes. 36 minutes? Well, why didn't you tell me sooner? Why can't I say goodbye to my wife? We couldn't take chances on anything going wrong. There must be no slip-ups. You'll be back in 24 hours, and you can explain everything to your wife then, with our consent. Yeah, yeah, sure. Everything will be finished in 24 hours. Well, let's get started. I'll say goodbye here, Bruce. Remember, our very lives here on Jupiter depend on the success of this trip. Get back safely. I'll do my best. Absolutely identical. House, furniture, Francis. Why, oh, that's Francis. I'd know her anyway. I'm sorry, I... I heard you talking to someone in the kitchen. I didn't... I didn't want to serve you. Oh, that was Mrs. Cashel. She invited us to supper next week. That's fine, fine. Fine. I'm sorry, I... I I've got a rush. I... I just came back for clean shirt. Well, lucky you. Just finished slaving over two hours of laundry. You can take it with you. Thanks very much. Hey, is anything the matter? You seem no. so... No, nothing the matter. I, I'm just in a rush, that's all. Oh, why don't you think we could talk a few Tomorrow, we'll talk tomorrow morning. Tomorrow, we'll talk. And, uh, you're sure that's all that happened? That's all. Look at that shirt. It's my shirt, my size, my sleeve length. You should have expected that. Everything is duplicated to the nth degree. Yeah, everything. Everything except the stars. When I looked up, all the heavens were in unfamiliar positions. Yes, we could have told you that. So now it's all finished, and I've killed a man. You destroyed a shadow, nothing more. The entire world of Jupiter will be grateful. In the meantime, here's something to cheer you up. This covers the balance due. Uh, am I free to leave now? Entirely. I don't guess we'll ever meet again. I doubt it, but you have my number if you ever need me. Now you'd better get home to your wife, uh, your real wife. Uh, Goodbye, Bruce. You have the gratitude and thanks of us all. Goodbye. Thank you, Dr. Johnson. Yeah. 
How long can you stay this time? Oh, <laughs> no, it's all finished. My job at the government's over and I've been paid in full. Oh, congratulations. <laughs> now you can go back to being unemployed. Oh, no, no, not for us. Never again. Not for us. Here. Take a peek at that. These checks. They're for $250,000. <laughs> well, where'd you get them? Are they good? Good, sure they're good. Come on, Fran, sit down here. I'll tell you all about them. Believe it. $250,000. A quarter of a million dollars. <laughs> Are you sure there's no hitch? Hitch? No hitch. That's payment for my job. You see, honey, that's why I've been away for the last 24 hours. Oh, but Bruce, you forgot. You were here last night. $250,000. What do you mean, I was here last night? Oh, don't you remember? You came in while I was in the kitchen. You wanted a shirt. Oh, but that's not important. Tell me about I the money. I was here? <laughs> you sure I was here in this room? Well, of course, but you just asked so big. You sure it was me? Nobody else? You wouldn't make a mistake, would you? Well, of course it was you. I gave you a shirt. The striping with the turn. The striped shirt? You're hurting me, please. What is it? Shut is there something about the check? Shut up! Oh. Uh. Oh. Uh. Hello? Johnson, this is Bruce Calvin. Now tell me the truth. Did I reach my destination last night? I certainly you did. I give you my word, you were on Earth last night. My wife says I was here. She says she saw me here in this living room. What? Johnson, look. I, I just took a little drink out of a bottle, a little drink of whiskey. Out of the same kind of a bottle that I poured the poison into up there. Not. Does that mean what I think it means? No, it couldn't be. Look, it's impossible. Tell me. It was planned so carefully. Now the work of years is gone. Look, I don't care about that. What about me? Did I poison myself or not? Our worlds are linked too closely. Eventually, we'll destroy each other. Look, that doesn't matter now. What about me? I want to live. Johnson, listen to me. Listen. Bruce, if your wife saw someone else last night, it means you had a visitor. A duplicate. Your duplicate who followed the same instructions given you. I'm sorry, Bruce. Terribly sorry. Hello? Hello, Bruce. Hello. Oh, my God, no, it couldn't be. What's wrong? What's the matter? Aren't the checks good? Checks? Checks? You think they matter now? You think anything matters now? Are you crazy? You, I did it all for you. Duke, everything the same. Nothing can change it. <laughs>